What's up, soul? This is your boy Chris here, Caribbean Pod.com vibes and up in the kitchen. You know, from time to time, I gotta remind myself how blessed I am. Was down visiting the old folks uh, yesterday, the day before. My dad's last piece of yam, the man tell me to take it. He's like, go ahead, you can handle it. So we're doing a quick boil and fry with the yam. I think I did something like this many moons ago, but this one quick. Very homely and very comforting for me. But again, back to that blessed thing. You guys, if you're blessed like me, do give thanks. Vibes it up, man. During the summer months, I usually try to incorporate my garden into the dishes that I make. So I have some cherry tomatoes here. And down here, I have some aroma. I think they're just turning red now. So grab one of those. Oh, it fell. But that's going i think there's a couple more in here yeah some more there but i just need that one then in my little herb box here i've got a little bit of parsley i'm gonna take some of this fresh thyme yeah, that's the neighbor's dog see the size of that beast man holy smokes if ever he jumps that fence i'll have to skedaddle for sure i'm gonna take some of that thyme and we got one more ingredient in the backyard here in my little pepper box here look at all those beauties there we've got a whole bunch of scotch bonnet we've got these white habanero i'm gonna go with this orange scotch bonnet here there's a ton of them here let's grab that that's it for the harvest we're going back in. and this is the uh, piece of yam i got from my dad i believe it's from africa it's an african yam um, very similar to what we have in the caribbean you notice it's sort of, there's a sort of a peak on the bottom here. That is where the bottom is. The top area is where the stem is. So what I like doing is cutting that out. And typically, you can plant this and it will probably grow. We're not worried about that today. We just want to eat this. To make this easier to peel, I'm just going to cut it in half. It's a beautiful white color here. It's very similar to what we call juba yam or white yam. Not the hard yam. This cooks very fast. One thing I was, must mention, you will notice a sort of a, a sap to it that can irritate your skin very fast. So what my mom would usually do when I remember seeing her do it when we were kids, she would take some vegetable oil and rub it in, on, over her hands to form a protective barrier before she began peeling the yam because not only would it itch, it would also be very sticky and it could stain your clothes potentially. So try not to touch your clothes with it. But all you want to do is take a paring knife or a potato peeler and remove the outer layer, just the thickness of the skin. And that's all I'm doing here. We cook this yam by boiling it, so what I'm going to do um, you can cut it whatever size pieces you like. What I like doing, in this case with the dish that I'm doing, I'm going to boil it and then refry it in the stewed saltfish. So I'm just going to do them, do it um, bite-sized pieces basically, and try to get them all the same size so they cook evenly. Rinse, in with, rinse it with cool water, drain it, and top it up with water and then put it on the stove to boil. It's as simple as that. I will not be using any salt when I'm boiling it because I know the... And if you have any sort of blemishes or any sort of dark spots or anything, you want to trim that out and discard it. I won't be using any salt in the water because the remaining salt in the salted cod that I'm using, even though I'm going to prepare the salted cod as we would normally do it by boiling it, to remove most of that salt, there would still be a lot of salt left back. So I do, there's no need really to add salt to the boiling process here. And again, I'm cutting back on my salt. I think I've conveyed that to you guys already. As the yam comes up to a boil, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to reduce that heat to a rolling boil, not as vigorous as it was before. And all this sort of foam at the top here, we're just going to skim that off and discard it. Now, telling you how long the yam will take to boil 
may be a little bit misleading because it depends on the variety of yam that you're using and remember we're not using what's typically called the yam in North America which is pretty much um, sweet potato mind you sweet potato would work great here as well but we use it we're looking for Caribbean yam and something that cooks very soft so go to your Caribbean grocers and ask them you don't want that yellow yam I mean say yeah you can use the yellow yam but it, it boils very hard you don't want that that's let's save that for soup boil this for about 15 minutes or so in my case it's probably going to be about 10 minutes and then you're going to go in with a sharp paring knife poke it through the thickest piece that you've got and if there's no resistance you know it's it's fully cooked now depending again on the yam that you use and I'm sorry for repeating it it may take longer it may take anywhere from 20 minutes to half an hour but I know this variety that I'm using here it takes about 10 to 12 minutes it's been a little while so what I'm gonna do is quickly show you what I mean by cooking very fast notice how soft it looks already but We'll do the knife test. It's going all the way through with no resistance. I'm just going to drain that now and set it aside as we stew the salt fish. Next up, I've got a nice wide pan here on a medium flame. And I'm going to go in with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You can use coconut oil or any sort of healthy oil that you choose to use. I like using this, so I'm going in with that. And here I have the prepared salted cod, uh, about one cup or so, flaked, nice big flakes here, um, shredded I guess, or flakes, whatever. I have a video on the Food FAQ channel explaining how to get it to this point. And pretty much what you do is, you boil it or you soak it in boiling water. And then you remove, um, well in this case, in my case, there wasn't any bones. I used the um, what we consider boneless. But um, the whole idea is to rehydrate it and to remove most of the salt that it's cured in. I forgot to mention, I turned the heat down on low when I add the salted cod. And we're going to start adding some more flavor in here now. And I have here two cloves of garlic, two large cloves of garlic that I gave a rough chop to. We've got all that fresh thyme from the backyard. half of a medium onion, just chopped up roughly, Let's give that a quick stir. And the reason why my heat is on low is because I want all of this to soften up and release all that flavor on a sort of a gentle heat to really, you know, make this dish shine. I'm going to go in with a bit of black pepper. Yeah, I'm still playing with this pre-ground black pepper. Gotta find some, find my old um, pepper grinder. One scotch bonnet pepper that we got in the backyard, seeds and everything, you can obviously leave it out altogether or uh, remove the seeds. These are the seeds here, you can remove that. That's where most of the heat is gonna be. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water after. I have here one scallion as well as the the parsley we got from the backyard. So as you can see, there's all kind of niceness going on in here. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. I'll let that go for about four minutes on that low heat to really bloom those flavors. Now here is where I'm gonna go in with the, um, the tomato that we got in the backyard as well. I keep saying backyard as if you guys wasn't um, part of the equation. But again, heat's still on low. I'm just going to give that a toss and mix it all together. The final step now is to add the pieces of boiled yam that we, um, we organized earlier. And you want to give this a toss. Now here's the thing. There are two options basically. You can add it in here, toss it so everything is coated with that stewed salt fish. Or you can serve it as it is, the yam, on a plate, on a, on a platter. And you toss and you pour all the stewed salt fish on top of it. Um, the choice is yours. It's just that I prefer it this way. What I usually do, I go a step further. So in, in a case like this, if I don't have enough yam for everybody that I'm trying to feed, I do something my mom would usually do with leftover. Whenever she had stewed saltfish and yam leftover, she would then reheat it 
and then pound it into a sort of a thick sort of oh gosh real nice you get some hot salad roti or fry bake or coconut bake or just on its own but anyways a lovely dish we just want to heat this way all the way through Chris here caribbeanpot.com always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me just gonna heat this up just a little bit more and then I'm gonna tuck in vibes it up man <laughs> 